Hello, hello, hello. It is your girl Dazzle Me 77 and I am back with another video. First of all, I'd like to say welcome back to all of my subscribers. To those of you that are new, welcome. I hope you find my channel to be interesting. I also hope that you find some content that you can relate to. Go down to my playlist and look at some of my older stuff. Um, I'm just amazed at how much I've grown, not only as a content creator, but as a lover of bags. Um, as you guys know, I just came off of a 30-day challenge where I was in one bag for 30, well, actually it was four weeks, so it was 28 days. Um, I learned so much during that challenge. One of the reasons why I did it was so I could you know, change out my accessories, use some accessories I had not yet used. And let me tell you something else I learned. So as you guys know, Determined to Be just one SB and Deluxe and I talk quite a bit as well as a lot of you other ladies. But definitely those, those are the ones that always got me in my pockets. <laughs> But one of the things that Michelle taught me is something that we all have talked about here recently is having an excess of bags. Now, that's not a bad thing, especially if your finances are in order, your bills are paid and you're doing what you're supposed to do. If you want to have a million bags, that's your business. I'm not one of those people that look down on people with massive collections because we don't know what anybody else has going on. But I will tell y'all a little secret that Determined to Be taught me. So we all have these bags and, you know, it's really hard to stick with one bag when you got all these companies coming out with beautiful bags. So what she taught me was making sure the bag is going to work for my collection. I have found myself several times in a bag and I'm loving it. And I have another bag come in, but the time lapse that I can return it and get a refund. Now, I'm not a big person on refunding bags, but if you're in a place, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I got to show y'all something while I was talking. But if you're in a place where you don't have access to seeing these bags a lot, that is your only other option is to order it. And once you get it, you figure out then if you like it. But do it within the 30 days, y'all. So that is something that I thought during my challenge of staying in that bag, which was so nice. I was also able to play with my other bags and just put the accessories in it to see if it was a bag that belonged in my collection. I saved myself on two purchases because I did have to send them back because while they were beautiful, they just did not work for my collection. So within the next couple of weeks, I'll be sharing with you guys some other things that I learned, but that was one of the biggest things. Even if you switch your bags a lot, make sure the bags that you most recently purchased, you try them before your time to return them comes in. All right, so let's get into this, what you came for. So this right here is my Brahmin. This is in the small Finley. And yes, she has that little squeak that Michelle was talking about. I have not put the conditioner on this bag. I haven't put any conditioner on any of the bags. But I did get this beauty when they had the Brahmin outlet sale. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to try this bag forever. They have a bigger version of this bag, and I thought it was going to be too big. But after having this one, I think it will be just right for me. So let's look into it. So when I was telling you guys, ooh, what I noticed is on this grommet right here. Um, I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see it, but you'll see it on here. You see it's Brahmin written here, written here, and it does have the gold hardware. I have this beautiful Brahmin butterfly on the outside of this bag, and it is in black. If you notice this back bag, eh, this bag looks black, but this is really like a navy with gold kind of like trim. There you go. You can see it. 
So for years, you guys, I did not know if I would like Brahmin because I like the more muted bags like this that have like maybe one, two or three colors. Um, the real colorful, colorful ones, I ain't, I ain't there yet, okay? Um, at the bottom, I have the Brahmin plate. And y'all, I still have the plastic on here. Let me take it off. No, I'm gonna leave it. Why do we leave the plastic on? Then you have the Brahmin medallion over here, and it has Brahmin on both sides. I love how they're clasped are. Y'all look at this. So when you open it, y'all see how that opens? I just uh oh. I just think it's so cute. Look at that. So this bag also has feet. This is what she looks like from the side, from the other side, and from the back. And if you notice on this one, she does have a cell phone pocket. Now, I hear people say all the time they don't care for outside pockets. I am an outside pocket type of chick. If my bag has an outside pocket and some feet, we are in the house. But I do have my blue cell phone case. If you notice, it did come out kind of tight because I have this bag stuffed to its capacity. But it's really not a whole lot in this bag. So although this bag looks like a, I thought it was going to be a medium to large bag. It's, it's definitely a medium to large bag, but I am going to get those um, larger Finley because they have, this is a small, then they have one that's a large. And y'all see that same great detail goes into the straps. I just love this. Y'all see that? Y'all see how the colors just change with Brahmin? I'm in love. I'm in love. Um, and it has that beautiful gold zipper. Of course, the zipper is nice. I still have the plastic on the zipper. Okay. So let's look into her. Now, y'all already know. So the crazy thing is, once I hit my time where I could switch bags, I just knew I was going to be jumping for joy and ready to get out the bag. I didn't even change that night. So let's look and see what we have in here. So in this back slip pocket, I have my Touchland hand sanitizer. I have my Notique pencil case. I have my makeup brush holder with some um, granola bars inside of there. And I got this idea thanks to the Novo Crown. And I love it because I hate when my bars get smushed up on my crackers. My next thing is to try a pack of the crackers to see if they fit inside of there. I have my holographic, my holographic pouch that has my business cards and some gift cards. Sorry for the noise, y'all. Um, then this side has a slip pocket right here. All I have in here is stuff I grab frequently, which is my In the Stars hand cream. And y'all, y'all know I am a Bath and Body Works lip gloss fanatic. But I think Fenty is still in the show. Um, I still use my Bath and Body a lot. But this one right here is fussy, and I've had it for quite a while. Um, I got this when I saw an IG. Um, I saw on IG someone paired this with Dark Horse from Sephora Lip Liner and the Fussy. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful, and I've been doing it ever since. Um, not the lip liner, just I wear the lip liner if me and my hubby go out. This right here is a coach. Y'all look at how pretty that looks. This is a coach wristlet that um, I got as um, a gift from Determined to Be. Thank you. I got this Mojave Ghost. So this is my bathroom bag, y'all. Y'all see how I downsize during the summertime? Ain't nobody got time to be carrying a whole bunch of stuff. Got my Barreto Mojave Ghost. Thank you, Miss T have my soap sheets. I am finding more often that I'm having to carry soap sheets. I have some Q-tips. 
I have this wonderful, wonderful tinted jelly bomb from Ulta. It works so good. I have some bathroom spray in a glass vial. Y'all, I have my Baccarat 540. I just, oh, that's a whole nother story. I have a hair tie. I have another hair tie. I have my little wall razor, just in case I gotta get any stray hairs. I have a clipper and I have two hairpins. So y'all, yeah, that's all that's in my bathroom bag. Um, I'm gonna lower this camera just a little bit because I feel like I'm doing arm exercises over here trying to show y'all. There we go. Woo! I got a new little setup today just because I got something going on on my other desk. And I was like, I'm not going to clean all that stuff off just to do the video. Y'all, the life of a content creator. We be doing it. You hear me? I applaud everyone who's doing videos because it does take a lot of time. But anyway, y'all, look at that. Oh, and I just noticed it's butterflies on the wristlet. And then look, I got a butterfly Brahmin charm. Yes. All right, so let's keep looking. Um, inside of here, um, I have my work keys and my work badge. That's a no-brainer. These match correctly. And that's all that I have like on that side. Now in this back zipper pocket, as you can see, it goes almost the whole entire circumference of the back of the bag, but not all the way. Inside of here, I just have my Brahmin card and I did register my bag. Thanks again to Determined to Be to tell me the importance of doing that. Have my iWalk charger. I have my Tums. I have my Chanel mirror. I have my pill case. I have a tape measure. I have some earring backs in here. So those of you that are new, um, I wear studs most of the time. And for some reason, especially when we were wearing masks, I used to lose my earring backs all the time. So I just put them in there. Here I have my Listerine strips. I have my placards. And then I have more pills. And I know y'all like, why well, you got two pill cases? So in here I have some allergy pills, one dose of Motrin, one dose of Tylenol. And then here I have Tylenol and Motrin. I do that because sometimes I'm the person everybody comes to for medicine. <laughs> so I just keep extra. So this is the information on the bag. It's the Small Finley in Shadow Ombre Melbourne. I did not pay this price for it. I want to say, don't quote me, but it wasn't this because I got it during the outlet sale. And then I have the information that comes with the bag. So if y'all don't mind, I'm going to stuff that back in there. And if you notice, the stuff that I have in this bathroom bathroom in this back pocket is sometimes the stuff that I would have had in my bathroom bag. Um, I'm just loving making my purse changes easier because I've been buying smaller bathroom bags and so it just makes it easier to do it that way. So on this side, now this is one feature of ramen bags that I absolutely love. This little zipper pocket right here is called a jewelry pocket. And I got this idea from Dazzling Deidre. She does have a channel here on YouTube. But she has a, like, get ready kit or, I don't know, glam yourself up kit, if you want to call it that. She has, like, hoop earrings, jewelry, all the kind of stuff if you out and you looking busted and you want to kind of, jazz it up is in there now for me sometimes i forget my wedding ring y'all i just got a regular ring in here that i can use as a wedding ring if y'all notice i do switch my wedding decor ring finger decor quite frequently and that is because in 2016 i gained 
quite a bit of weight and I'm in the process of losing it. And I didn't, I don't want to alter my red, my wedding ring. I just don't. So when I'm able to fit my wedding, my original wedding ring again, I'll put it back on. All right. So also on this side right here, you have two pockets. I'm going to have to come up just a little bit, you guys. All right. So you have two pockets on this side. Of course, I have my wet ones in that pocket. And then in this pocket right here, I have my Dollar Tree flashlight. Of course, it's in blue. I have a glass file that I got from Shein. It's in blue. Y'all, I was in blue heaven in this bag. And I think because I was in one bag for so long, I spent so much time like putting together the accessories. I also have my Pleasures by Estee Lauder. This is a forever in my collection, that and Jador. And then I have a blue pen. Don't know where I got it from. I have so many pens, it's ridiculous. And then y'all, ain't this cute? So if y'all notice, I've been kind of putting my um, Victoria wristlet and I'll have my AirPods on the key leash. So essentially, this is all I need on my phone. But y'all, look at how good that matches with this bag. Yes, please. And then I have the little M&Ms that have my AirPods in here, okay? So I thought that was cute. All right, so also down inside of here, there is another pocket over here for a pen. That's where I pulled my pen out of. Um, in here, my little Gucci satchel, I have some water um, pack enhancers. In here, this is a little Dior satchel. And what I did, because y'all, I've been switching bags like quick. I have like a pandemic pouch in here. I have masks, Clorox wipes, wet ones, and I have a couple of feminine wipes and stuff like that. Because sometimes I don't want to change everything. You know what I mean? So that just worked out really nice. This right here is one of those little pouches that I got recently from Dollar Tree. It is in the blue sparkles, and I'm using that as my candy pouch. And then I have this little thing. This is the only thing that probably isn't blue. <laughs> well, it's not blue. Um, but this has like all of my eye stuff in it. And I just love how it feels. Y'all see that? So I have a pair of contacts, contact lens case, re-wetting drops, and then some regular re-wetting drops and like vials. I just like how small it is. And I also like that it's not heavy. Y'all, I have been into fuchsia lately. I told y'all I went on this pink craze that I have for years and years and years, got off of it, but I am getting back in love with fuchsia here lately. Um, of course, I have my planner inside. And then last but not least, I have the matching wallet. Y'all, I love this wallet. I was a little concerned. Let me tell you why. Let me move my ID. I was a little concerned at first because I don't usually like to carry cash. But when I do, I like the open parts, like in a zip around. But this wallet is more flexible than what you would think. I love that it lays flat. And y'all look how pretty it is. I love this wallet. And it's just so dainty and just so pretty. And look at them colors. So this bag didn't have a wallet specified for it. Um, Determined to be has a tote bag that was in this color. And I was like, girl, that's going to match my bag. So if you see, it does match over here. Because you see it has those gold undertones. So let me set you up. Well, let me show you the bag empty. So inside the bag, you do have the zipper compartment. I didn't have anything in it. And I'll be honest with you, for this bag, because of the leather and it's so tight, 
I think this right here kind of restricts the bag just a little bit. I think this bag could have did without the middle, but that bag would be the Caroline. Um, I'm starting to learn a little bit more about Brahmin. I haven't officially given my title a Brahminista, but I'm on my way, y'all. Um, I love it. So inside of here, you see you have Brahmin. It's like a really, I don't know what type of material this is. Um, but it's very smooth and it has Brahmin written on it. It is not a wipeable material. And then on this side, you have the pin pocket, two pockets, the jewelry pocket. And then you also have um, the little key leash, okay? But this bag is gorgeous. Um, I have so many bags I need to carry. I've been in this bag since Sunday. Um, so I think I'm gonna give it a couple more days because I really am enjoying the carry of this bag. Um, y'all, I have another Brahmin coming. I said I wasn't gonna do any more shopping because me and my honey are about to do our little anniversary trip. I'll tell y'all more about that later. And I was trying to save, but the last time we went on vacation, y'all, we just enjoyed each other. I thought I was going to be shopping left and right. And honey, we had talked about some Louis Vuitton money and we didn't do any of that. We just really enjoyed each other. Um, we did some spa services stuff and we just sat out on the balcony and had a good time, looked at the water. Y'all know I'm a cute cruiseaholic. Um, if there's something else that I love in life, it's cruising. And um, I'm just blessed to be in the position where I can cruise um, and do some of the things that I like to do. Um, I am so glad that, you know, we're making a turnaround with the whole pandemic thing because I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I was missing my cruises. I was still very kind of cautious when we first went, um, but I think they're doing a great job. Of course, when you watch the news, you're gonna see bad things. So please don't come for me in the comments. Let me enjoy this moment. Um, but anyway, I enjoy putting this bag together. All this blue just, just makes my heart sing, y'all. It just makes my heart sing. And then when I added this, I was like, yes, this is just perfect. So I am really enjoying this bag, the setup, the colors. It just says dazzle. It says dazzle. It says dazzle all over it. So if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Um, leave some comments below. Let's chat about it. Um, are you into Brahmin? Now, I will say this. Take, it took me a little while to feel Brahmin. I don't know why. I think it was the bags that had a lot of color. I'm not a lot of color type of person. But once you find your style in Brahmin, the colors that you like in Brahmin, I'm telling you, they are quality bags. Um, and even for this to be leather, it was not super heavy. Um, I did wear it on my shoulder and it was wonderful. Um, I'll try to insert a picture of me carrying the bag because I did carry it this weekend. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, I just said it. Give me a thumbs up, leave some comments so we can chat. And remember, be good to others, but be even better to yourself because we cannot pour from an empty cup. Bye-bye.